Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change or modify the system cooling policy on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in Control Panel. Best result, should come back with Control Panel. Just go ahead and open that up. Sort your view by by large icons, and then you want to select power options. Select change plan settings for whichever plan is currently selected. So go ahead and select that. And then select where it says change advanced power settings. Expand the processor power management option. And there should be something in here that says system cooling policy. If you do not see this option, I have recently made a tutorial covering how to resolve that so this option is not available here. I will include a link in the description of the video. I might even put a card on the video itself on YouTube. I forget exactly what they call them, but I'll have a link to it in the video itself possibly, but it should be in the description as well. So if we expand the system cooling policy, there's two options in here. There's active and there's passive. So active would increase the fan speed before slowing the processor. Passive would slow the processor before accelerating the fan speed. So passive generally will slow down performance a little bit. Generally speaking, this is more relevant if you're using a laptop. You probably want to do passive. On a desktop, I would edge more toward selecting the active option. However, you can use them interchangeably there. So pretty straightforward process, guys. These are the two options you have to adjust. And then you would just select apply and OK to save the change once you're done. And that's it. So pretty straightforward process. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.